So in the last section we discussed about Palo Alto URL filtering about the URL category and where we created one of our custom lists where we block the social media websites like uh, Facebook and Twitter right. Now in this topic what we are gonna do basically we are going to make this firewall work as a web proxy right. So to do that we need to follow some steps and let's discuss what those steps are. So first thing first we need to create the or generate the certificates because since you have like Palo Alto firewall right so it has to be your enterprise network and you should be having this CA server which is certificate authority server. So it is recommended to use CA server for certificate generate we will see in the lab how we are going to do that. Um, we do not have CA certificate in our lab but we will discuss about how this thing works or if you want to just test on your Palo Alto firewall you can also use your it's like self science certificate right so this is only for the testing purpose but recommended solution is to use CA certificate now the next thing what we will do we will configure the URL filtering profile this is the main area we should be focusing because we are going to make this firewall work as a web proxy right so everything is comes under this url filtering profile then we need to create decryption profile because this is how the firewall going to understand when the client is sending any request then he going to decrypt the packet which is coming from client and that is how the url filtering is going to work fine for you the next we're going to then focus upon creating the policies and policy would be like security policy and decryption policy then the lastly we're going to apply the profile what we created under the security policy right so these are the five steps we're going to apply while making this firewall to work as a web proxy so let's get started so we have this one of the url category right what we created for blocks so let's do thing let me rename this for as social networking category because we are going to use this for our upcoming demonstration so let's not assume this is block category but this is just one of the uh, social networking url list now let's move on to our first criteria what we saw in here which is certificate now to generate the certificate let's go to device and in device there is a certificates option right and in order to generate certificate just click upon generate and as we discussed since you have enterprise network you need to have your CA which is going to provide the certificate which is root certificate as well as the uh, this certificate is going to sign on the firewall so let's discuss how we're gonna do that so in certificate name you can provide any name you want for example web proxy certificate right you can give any name you like now here is a common name common name can be either ip or it can be fqdn uh, but make sure if you are giving the fqdn it has to be resolved when you are going to ping so for example on your firewall you have ip address on inside interface uh, any IP address in your domain for example we have the inside interface IP which is 192.168.101.1 this is my firewall inside IP address and this IP should be resolved when I ping with its FQDN for example um, let me take my pen so for example my Palo Alto firewall host name is Palo Alto and the branch one for example if it is branch and then edge it can be any name it could be as per your enterprise scenario so this particular host name has to be get resolved with the ip address i'm going to provide here because this is something going to validate the certificate when the user are sending the request for the url right so you need to make sure that if you are providing fqdn it has to get resolved so in my case i am just giving the ip address now since we are going to get it a request on the CA server so you have to select option which is going to sign by the external authority so external authority in our case it could be your internal CA server 
now after that you have to select this certificate authority because the certificate what we're going to generate and send it to the ca server it should have the ca certificate authority and we will see that once we generate the certificate and then after that you can have this option default but if you want to increase the expiry date you can increase in here but it is recommended to keep like one year so you can keep renewing on every year and after that you have to just click upon the generate okay so as you can see like uh, the certificate color it look like an amber this is because it is showing the status which is pending and this will become like a blue once we have the certificate actually uh, signed by the CS server so how it's gonna work basically so for example this certificate we have generated so for example this is the certificate so this certificate we need to import on your CS server so this is my CS server so in CS server there is an option like request certificate so once you do this request certificate you're going to import this certificate on the CS server but before that of course we need to export the certificate so you have to just click and export certificate in here and it is already been exported something like this so you have to just import this certificate on your CS server right now let's say we have exported this certificate and we have requested this certificate on CS server so once you generate the certificate on CS server, the first time is going to happen, you are going to get the certificate download from CS server. So that certificate is going to known as a web proxy, you know, certificate. What we already have the given the name in here, right? For example, like that. So that would be our first certificate. Then the second certificate you need to download from CA, which is its own root CA certificate. Now this certificate is very important because how it's gonna work uh, let me get you here in diagram so let's say we have this firewall and in this firewall we have this local area network couple of users now it's connected to internet so what we did basically we have this CS server also connected to our local area network so reason of downloading this CA certificate because this root CS certificate is already available on your workstation in enterprise network so when you download this certificate and import onto your firewall this firewall going to authenticate the user request when it is coming so when you are requesting any website request on firewall is going to match whether the request is coming from the person who is authenticate or not so this root CS certificate basically going to authenticate but it's not just like if you have this root CS certificate you can request any website so there comes this firewall certificate so when you download this certificate under this root CA they both get authenticate so we will get to know about those kind of thing so we need to follow two step which is first request the CSR certificate from your CS server and then import this root ca into your firewall so let's see like uh, we have like uh, requested this certificate and we downloaded from your ca and we imported onto the firewall so basically you're going to have two certificate the first is going to be your root ca the second is going to be this certificate and your this certificate is going to be under the root ca so that would be your hierarchy since we do not have this ca at this moment so what we can do is basically we can generate one of the self signed certificate just to give you the demonstration so let's generate one of the self signed certificate which is like a web proxy and then after that like let's say something self sign all right then the ip is going to be the same which is like 192.168.101.1 which is my inside IP address of this firewall then at this point I'm not going to select the CSR because I want this certificate which is self signed to be CA so after that all option I'm going to keep as default and degenerate so as you can see the difference between this certificate or uh, what we requested for CA 
that's still showing pending because we have not sent to ca and not imported that is the reason we see the pending but what we generated the one self sign that shows valid because it is self sign it doesn't need to be any external ca it is like self uh, sign ca right so this is the first certificate what we have to generate now there is another certificate we need to generate for our external use so let me show you why i need these two certificates so in here the first certificate what we generated which is the self sign and we given the name which is web proxy something like that and that certificate it is going to be for our internal so when we have the user in here for example we have this firewall right and we have connected couple of users for example this user right so the certificate what we generated just now let me take the other color for example this is the certificate we generated and this certificate belong to our internal and this certificate is also going to be available on the user machine because this both certificate going to be validated by our root ca i am giving the demonstration as per you have our your own ca server right so you also have your root ca certificate so on firewall when you import the certificate from root ca that is going to be available on both client machine and the firewall so it's going to be like authenticate between your firewall and your client machine so that is the first certificate we are using for internal purpose now the second certificate what we're going to generate that is going to be our self sign on my firewall and that is going to be in both situation even if you have CS server but this certificate it has to be like self sign by the firewall and that is something we're going to use for external right and this is because this certificate we require to validate any site which is like untrusted websites all right website so we will generate the two certificate what we generated the first which is related to our internal the other certificate we will generate that is for the external now let's go and generate the certificate for external use now to generate the external certificate the step is going to be the same all you have to click upon generate then you can give any name you want but let's uh, give the name which is going to be understand in the future for example by proxy and uh, it is going to be external and certificate for example so you're going to understand okay this is the external certificate now in the ip or fkt and it doesn't have to be uh, your internal ip it has to be your external ip address so let me find the ip address of this firewall for outside so let me go in network and see in interface i have ip which is 25400 right so this is the ip i need to provide into my certificate i'll go generate again i just paste the name so 192.168.254.100 this is my external ip address this can be any ip address which is outside interface of your firewall now at this point we do not have to send this certificate for any external ca right like we did for our internal ca this has to be signed by the self firewall itself so we have to just click upon certificate authority so that this certificate is going to be its own ca and then after that the other option i'm going to keep it as default and set generate since we have like generated two certificate one for inside for local area network for users to use and other is for external now our next step would be to make this certificate to work as a web proxy validation so to do that first select the web proxy self sign which is in your case is going to be your internal ca certificate click upon that and there is an option which is forward trust certificate so you have to click this option because that is the way firewall is going to work as a web proxy 
because when the validation is going to happen this is the certificate they're going to use as a forward trust certificate so we have to click this option and then after that we need to click trust root c as well so these are the two options we need to select for internal uh, web proxy certificate so click ok now this is done now the next we need to do the same for the external CS certificate but at this point we need to select option which is forward on trust certificate we do not have to select this trust certificate option right and then trusted root ca now let's see okay so we have made the certificate generate and we have selected the option which is required for this firewall to work as a web proxy and once it is done we need to just commit the change on this firewall right so while it is like commit is happening let's discuss about the steps so we have completed our first step which is generating the certificate if it is ca you already know how ca certificate works but for testing purpose we can use the self-signed certificate right the next step come which is configuring the url filtering profile right since there are like multiple steps are involved into this url filtering so what we're going to do basically we're going to divide this video in multiple part right so this is for now and i'll see you in the next section